in the depths of our consciousness, where the currents of thought ebb and flow, lies a profound power, a power that shapes our perception of reality and influences the course of our lives. This power, wielded by each and every one of us, has the ability to either uplift us to greater heights or drag us down into the depths of despair. Welcome to Stoic Wisdom, where we journey through the timeless teachings of Stoicism to discover practical insights for navigating the complexities of the human mind. In today's episode, we embark on a quest to unravel the mysteries of negative thoughts and uncover the Stoic secrets to banishing them from our lives. Join me as we explore the depths of the Stoic philosophy, drawing upon ancient wisdom to illuminate the path towards inner peace, clarity, and resilience. Together, let us embark on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment as we learn how to liberate ourselves from the shackles of negativity and embrace the fullness of life's possibilities. Chapter 1. The Nature of Negative Thoughts Negative thoughts, they linger in the corners of our minds, whispering tales of doubt, fear, and inadequacy. They arise unbidden, like shadows cast by the light of our consciousness, clouding our perception and dimming the brilliance of our inner light. But what are negative thoughts, and how do they wield such power over our psyche? In the realm of psychology, negative thoughts are often defined as cognitive distortions, patterns of thinking that distort our perception of reality and contribute to feelings of anxiety, depression, and dissatisfaction. These distortions can take many forms, from catastrophizing and overgeneralizing to black and white thinking and personalization. But beyond the realm of psychology lies the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that offers profound insights into the nature of negative thoughts and their impact on our lives. According to the Stoics, negative thoughts arise from a fundamental misunderstanding of the nature of reality, a misunderstanding rooted in our attachment to external circumstances and our aversion to discomfort and uncertainty. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them. With these words as our guide, let us embark on a journey of self-discovery and self-awareness as we explore the Stoic approach to overcoming negative thoughts and reclaiming control of our minds. Through the practice of mindfulness, cognitive reframing, and philosophical reflection, we can learn to identify and challenge our negative thoughts, replacing them with more balanced and rational perspectives. By cultivating an attitude of acceptance, resilience, and inner peace, we can free ourselves from the grip of negativity and embrace the fullness of life's possibilities. Join me as we delve deeper into the Stoic philosophy, uncovering practical strategies for overcoming negative thoughts and unlocking the power of our minds to create a life of meaning, purpose, and fulfillment. Together, let us embark on a journey of transformation and empowerment as we learn how to harness the wisdom of the Stoics to navigate the challenges of the human experience. Chapter 2. The Stoic Response to Negative Thoughts In the face of negative thoughts, the Stoics offer a profound and transformative response, a response rooted in wisdom, resilience, and inner strength. Drawing upon the timeless teachings of Stoic philosophy, we discover a wealth of practical strategies and techniques for overcoming negativity and reclaiming control of our minds. At the heart of the Stoic response to negative thoughts lies the practice of mindfulness, a practice that invites us to cultivate present moment awareness and observe our thoughts with detached clarity. By learning to step back from our thoughts and emotions, we create space for reflection and discernment, allowing us to respond to life's challenges with equanimity and composure. Moreover, the Stoics encourage us to engage in cognitive reframing, a process of challenging and reframing our negative thoughts in order to cultivate more balanced and rational perspectives. Through the practice of cognitive reframing, we learn to question the validity of our negative beliefs and replace them with more constructive and empowering narratives. In addition to mindfulness and cognitive reframing, the Stoics advocate for the cultivation of philosophical reflection a practice that invites us to explore the deeper truths of existence and gain perspective on our own experiences. By reflecting on the impermanence of life, the inevitability of adversity, 
and the inherent dignity of the human spirit, we can find solace and strength in the face of negativity. But perhaps most importantly, the stoic response to negative thoughts is grounded in the cultivation of virtue, the noble qualities of character that enable us to live with integrity, courage, and wisdom. Through the cultivation of virtue, we learn to align our thoughts and actions with our highest ideals, transcending the grip of negativity and embracing a life of meaning and purpose. Join me as we delve deeper into the stoic response to negative thoughts, exploring practical strategies and techniques for overcoming negativity and reclaiming control of our minds. Together, let us embark on a journey of self-discovery and transformation, as we harness the wisdom of the Stoics to navigate the complexities of the human experience with courage, grace, and resilience. Chapter 3. Cultivating Mindfulness in Daily Life In the bustling rhythm of modern life, where distractions abound and demands compete for our attention, cultivating mindfulness emerges as a potent antidote to the onslaught of negative thoughts. Mindfulness, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, offers a transformative practice that empowers us to anchor ourselves in the present moment, fostering a sense of clarity, calm, and inner peace amidst life's storms. The essence of mindfulness lies in the art of attentive awareness, a practice of observing our thoughts, emotions, and sensations with open-hearted curiosity and non-judgmental acceptance. By cultivating mindfulness in our daily lives, we develop the capacity to witness the arising of negative thoughts without becoming entangled in their grip, allowing them to dissipate like clouds passing through the sky. Stoic mindfulness invites us to engage in the practice of prasosh, a term used by the ancient Stoics to describe the vigilant attention to our inner state and external environment. Through the practice of prasosh, we sharpen our awareness of the present moment, cultivating a deep sense of presence and connection to the world around us. Practical strategies for cultivating mindfulness abound, ranging from formal meditation practices to informal mindfulness exercises that can be integrated seamlessly into our daily routines. By setting aside dedicated time each day for mindfulness meditation, we create a sacred space for self-reflection and introspection, nurturing the seeds of inner peace and resilience within us. Furthermore, we can infuse mindfulness into our daily activities, transforming mundane tasks into opportunities for presence and awareness. Whether we're washing the dishes, taking a walk in nature, or savoring a cup of tea, we can anchor ourselves in the present moment, savoring the richness of each experience with mindfulness and gratitude. As we cultivate mindfulness in our daily lives, we begin to unravel the grip of negative thoughts, finding refuge in the spaciousness of our own awareness. Through the practice of mindfulness, we discover an oasis of calm amidst life's chaos, empowering us to navigate the complexities of the human experience with clarity, resilience, and grace. Join me as we embark on a journey of mindful living, harnessing the transformative power of stoic mindfulness to liberate ourselves from the shackles of negativity and embrace the fullness of life's possibilities. Chapter 4. The Power of Cognitive Reframing In the labyrinth of the mind, where thoughts weave intricate patterns of perception, lies a potent tool for liberation, the power of cognitive reframing. Rooted in the wisdom of Stoic philosophy, cognitive reframing offers a transformative approach to confronting and dismantling negative thoughts, replacing them with more balanced and rational perspectives. At its core, Cognitive reframing involves challenging and restructuring the way we interpret and respond to challenging situations, allowing us to break free from the grip of negativity and cultivate a mindset of resilience and empowerment. By reframing our thoughts, we shift our focus from rumination and despair to clarity and possibility, opening the door to new insights and opportunities for growth. The Stoics understood the power of cognitive reframing, recognizing that our interpretation of events often holds greater sway over our well-being than the events themselves. In the words of Epictetus, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. With this insight as our guide, let us explore the practical strategies and techniques for harnessing the power of cognitive reframing in our own lives. One powerful technique for cognitive reframing is the practice of cognitive restructuring, 
which involves identifying and challenging negative thought patterns and replacing them with more adaptive and empowering beliefs. Through cognitive restructuring, we learn to question the validity of our negative thoughts, examining the evidence fine against them and cultivating more balanced and realistic perspectives. Another effective strategy for cognitive reframing is the practice of perspective taking, which involves stepping outside of our own subjective experience and viewing challenging situations from a broader perspective. By adopting a more expansive view of our circumstances, we can gain insight into the underlying causes of our negative thoughts and develop greater compassion and understanding for ourselves and others. Moreover, the practice of reframing adversity as opportunity offers a powerful way to transform negative experiences into catalysts for growth and self-discovery. By reframing setbacks and challenges as valuable learning experiences, we can extract wisdom and resilience from even the most difficult circumstances, empowering us to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and courage. As we harness the power of cognitive reframing in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and reclaiming control of our thoughts and emotions. Through the practice of cognitive reframing, we cultivate a mindset of resilience and empowerment, transforming adversity into opportunity and embracing the fullness of life's possibilities with clarity, courage, and grace. Join me as we embark on a journey of cognitive mastery, harnessing the transformative power of Stoic philosophy to liberate ourselves from the shackles of negativity and embrace the richness of the human experience. Chapter 5 E Embracing Acceptance and Impermanence In the ever-changing landscape of existence, where the tides of fortune ebb and flow, lies a profound truth that true liberation often lies in the acceptance of life's inherent impermanence. Rooted in the teachings of Stoic philosophy, the practice of acceptance invites us to embrace the transient nature of reality, releasing our attachment to outcomes and surrendering to the unfolding of life with open-hearted equanimity. At its essence, acceptance is not resignation or defeat, but rather a courageous acknowledgement of the reality of the present moment, a willingness to meet life on its own terms, without resistance or judgment. Through the practice of acceptance, we learn to navigate the uncertainties of existence with grace and resilience, finding peace amidst the chaos and clarity amidst the confusion. The Stoics understood the power of acceptance, recognizing that our resistance to the inevitable changes of life only serves to amplify our suffering. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. With this wisdom as our guide, let us explore the transformative potential of acceptance in our own lives. One powerful aspect of acceptance is the practice of radical acceptance, which involves fully embracing the reality of the present moment, no matter how difficult or uncomfortable it may be. By surrendering our resistance to what is, we create space for peace and clarity to arise, allowing us to respond to life's challenges with courage and resilience. Another key component of acceptance is the recognition of the impermanence of all things, a fundamental truth that lies at the heart of Stoic philosophy. By embracing the transience of life, we free ourselves from the grip of attachment and aversion, finding solace in the knowledge that all things are fleeting and ephemeral. Moreover, the practice of acceptance invites us to cultivate gratitude for the richness of each moment, regardless of its perceived joys or sorrows. By opening our hearts to the full spectrum of human experience, we discover a profound sense of interconnectedness and belonging, anchoring ourselves in the present moment with reverence and appreciation. As we embrace the practice of acceptance in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and finding peace amidst life's uncertainties. Through the practice of acceptance, we cultivate a deep sense of inner peace and resilience, allowing us to navigate the complexities of existence with courage, grace, and unwavering equanimity. Join me as we embark on a journey of radical acceptance, harnessing the transformative power of Stoic philosophy to embrace the fullness of life's possibilities with open-hearted awareness and gratitude. Chapter 6. Detachment and Freedom from Outcome 
In the realm of Stoic philosophy, a cornerstone principle for navigating negative thoughts is detachment, the art of relinquishing our attachment to external outcomes and finding freedom within ourselves. Rooted in the Stoic concept of brapatheia, or tranquility of mind, detachment empowers us to cultivate inner peace and resilience in the face of life's uncertainties. Detachment does not imply indifference or apathy, but rather a healthy disengagement from the outcomes beyond our control. It invites us to shift our focus from external circumstances to our internal state of being, recognizing that true fulfillment arises not from the attainment of external goals, but from the cultivation of inner virtues and values. The Stoics understood the power of detachment, recognizing that our attachment to external outcomes often leads to suffering and dissatisfaction. In the words of Epictetus, make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. With this wisdom as our guide, let us explore the transformative potential of detachment in our own lives. One practical strategy for cultivating detachment is the practice of premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of adversity. By envisioning the worst-case scenarios and mentally preparing ourselves for life's inevitable challenges, we develop the resilience and equanimity needed to navigate them with grace and composure. Another key aspect of detachment is the practice of turning obstacles into opportunities, which involves reframing setbacks and challenges as valuable learning experiences. By embracing adversity as a catalyst for growth and self-discovery, we cultivate resilience and strength, transforming adversity into a stepping stone towards greater wisdom and fulfillment. Moreover, detachment invites us to cultivate gratitude for the present moment, regardless of its perceived outcomes or circumstances. By releasing our attachment to the future and anchoring ourselves in the richness of the present, we discover a profound sense of peace and contentment, allowing us to savor the beauty of each moment with open-hearted awareness. As we cultivate detachment in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and finding freedom amidst life's uncertainties. Through the practice of detachment, we cultivate inner peace and resilience, allowing us to navigate the complexities of existence with courage, grace, and unwavering equanimity. Join me as we embark on a journey of detachment, harnessing the transformative power of Stoic philosophy to embrace the fullness of life's possibilities with open-hearted acceptance and gratitude. Chapter 7 – The Practice of Gratitude and Appreciation Amidst the turbulence of life, where negativity often seeks to take root in the fertile soil of our minds, lies a powerful antidote, the practice of gratitude and appreciation. Rooted in the teachings of Stoic philosophy, the practice of gratitude invites us to cultivate a deep sense of appreciation for the richness of our lives, anchoring ourselves in the present moment with reverence and awe. Gratitude is not merely a fleeting emotion or polite gesture, but a profound orientation towards life, a way of being that permeates our thoughts, words, and actions. It is the recognition that even in the darkest of times, there is always something to be grateful for, a ray of light amidst the darkness, a glimmer of hope amidst despair. The Stoics understood the transformative power of gratitude, recognizing that it is not our circumstances that determine our happiness, but rather our attitude towards them. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. With this wisdom as our guide, let us explore the profound practice of gratitude and its transformative impact on our lives. One practical strategy for cultivating gratitude is the practice of morning and evening reflections, which involves taking time each day to reflect on the blessings in our lives and express gratitude for them. By cultivating a daily habit of gratitude, we train our minds to focus on the positive aspects of life, shifting our perspective from scarcity to abundance. Another key aspect of gratitude is the practice of finding beauty in the ordinary, which involves cultivating appreciation for the simple joys and pleasures that surround us each day. From the warmth of the sun on our skin to the laughter of loved ones, there is beauty to be found in every moment, if only we have the eyes to see it. 
Moreover, gratitude invites us to cultivate compassion and empathy for others, recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings and the countless ways in which we are supported and uplifted by the kindness of others. By expressing gratitude for the people in our lives and the blessings they bring, we deepen our connections and foster a sense of community and belonging. As we cultivate gratitude in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and finding joy amidst life's challenges. Through the practice of gratitude, we cultivate a deep sense of appreciation for the richness of our lives, allowing us to navigate the complexities of existence with courage, grace, and unwavering equanimity. Join me as we embark on a journey of gratitude, harnessing the transformative power of Stoic philosophy to embrace the fullness of life's possibilities with open-hearted acceptance and appreciation. Chapter 8 – The Role of Self-Compassion in Overcoming Negative Thoughts In the labyrinth of the mind, where thoughts weave intricate patterns of perception, lies a profound truth that self-compassion holds the key to liberation from the grip of negative thoughts. Rooted in the teachings of Stoic philosophy, the practice of self-compassion invites us to cultivate a deep sense of kindness, understanding, and acceptance towards ourselves, offering a pathway to healing and transformation. Self-compassion is not merely a form of self-indulgence or self-pity, but a courageous act of self-love, a recognition of our shared humanity and inherent worthiness. It is the willingness to embrace ourselves with tenderness and compassion, especially in moments of struggle and suffering, offering ourselves the same kindness and support that we would offer to a dear friend. The Stoics understood the importance of self-compassion, recognizing that self-criticism and self-judgment only serve to perpetuate our suffering. In the words of Seneca, wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. With this wisdom as our guide, let us explore the transformative power of self-compassion and its profound impact on our ability to overcome negative thoughts. One practical strategy for cultivating self-compassion is the practice of self-kindness, which involves treating ourselves with the same warmth, understanding, and care that we would offer to a loved one in distress. By extending compassion towards ourselves in moments of struggle, we create a safe and nurturing inner environment, allowing ourselves to heal and grow amidst life's challenges. Another key aspect of self-compassion is the practice of common humanity, which involves recognizing that suffering is an inevitable part of the human experience, shared by all beings. By acknowledging our shared humanity and interconnectedness, we cultivate a sense of belonging and acceptance, freeing ourselves from the isolation and shame that often accompany negative thoughts. Moreover, self-compassion invites us to cultivate mindful self-awareness, which involves observing our thoughts and emotions with gentle curiosity and non-judgmental acceptance. By developing a compassionate stance towards ourselves, we create space for healing and transformation, allowing negative thoughts to arise and pass away without becoming entangled in their grip. As we cultivate self-compassion in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and finding peace amidst life's uncertainties. Through the practice of self-compassion, we cultivate a deep sense of kindness and understanding towards ourselves, allowing us to navigate the complexities of existence with courage, grace, and unwavering equanimity. Join me as we embark on a journey of self-compassion, harnessing the transformative power of Stoic philosophy to embrace the fullness of life's possibilities with open-hearted acceptance and love. Chapter 9 – The Practice of Virtue – Cultivating Inner Strength and Integrity In the pursuit of overcoming negative thoughts, the Stoics guide us towards a foundational principle, the cultivation of virtue. Rooted in the Stoic philosophy, virtue serves as a guiding light, illuminating the path towards inner strength, integrity, and moral excellence. By embodying the virtues of wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice, we fortify ourselves against the onslaught of negativity and empower ourselves to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Virtue, in the Stoic tradition, is not merely a theoretical concept, but a lived experience, a way of being in the world that aligns our thoughts, words, and actions with our highest ideals and values. 
It is the recognition that true fulfillment arises not from the pursuit of external rewards or accolades, but from the cultivation of inner virtues that transcend the fluctuations of circumstance and fortune. The Stoics understood the transformative power of virtue, recognizing that it is through the practice of virtuous living that we cultivate resilience, integrity, and inner peace. In the words of Epictetus, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. With this wisdom as our guide, let us explore the profound practice of virtue and its transformative impact on our ability to overcome negative thoughts. One practical strategy for cultivating virtue is the practice of virtue ethics, which involves reflecting on the qualities of character that we aspire to embody and aligning our actions with these ideals. By cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice, we strengthen our moral compass and empower ourselves to navigate life's challenges with integrity and grace. Another key aspect of virtue is the practice of self-discipline, which involves cultivating the strength of will to align our actions with our values, even in the face of temptation or adversity. By developing the habit of self-discipline, we build resilience and fortitude, allowing us to resist the pull of negative thoughts and live in alignment with our highest ideals. Moreover, virtue invites us to cultivate moral integrity, which involves living with honesty, authenticity, and accountability in all areas of our lives. By embodying moral integrity, we foster trust and respect in our relationships, allowing us to navigate conflicts and challenges with grace and dignity. As we cultivate virtue in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and finding peace amidst life's uncertainties. Through the practice of virtue, we cultivate inner strength, integrity, and moral excellence, allowing us to navigate the complexities of existence with courage, grace, and unwavering equanimity. Join me as we embark on a journey of virtuous living, harnessing the transformative power of Stoic philosophy to embrace the fullness of life's possibilities with open-hearted integrity and wisdom. Chapter 10. Living in Alignment with Nature In the intricate tapestry of existence, where the forces of nature intertwine with the rhythms of human life, lies a profound principle, the Stoic concept of living in alignment with nature. Rooted in the teachings of Stoic philosophy, living in alignment with nature invites us to harmonize our thoughts, actions, and desires with the natural order of the universe, fostering a sense of peace, purpose, and fulfillment. Living in alignment with nature is not merely a matter of external conformity, but a profound attunement to the underlying principles that govern the cosmos, the principles of reason, virtue, and interconnectedness. It is the recognition that we are but small threads woven into the fabric of the universe, each playing a unique role in the unfolding of existence. The Stoics understood the transformative power of living in alignment with nature, recognizing that it is through this alignment that we find true freedom and fulfillment. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, everything harmonizes with me, which is harmonious to you, O universe. Nothing for me is too early or too late, which is in due time for you. With this wisdom as our guide, let us explore the profound practice of living in alignment with nature and its transformative impact on our ability to overcome negative thoughts. One practical strategy for living in alignment with nature is the practice of virtue ethics, which involves aligning our thoughts, actions, and desires with the principles of reason and virtue. By cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice, we harmonize ourselves with the natural order of the universe, fostering inner peace and integrity. Another key aspect of living in alignment with nature is the practice of acceptance of the present moment, which involves embracing the reality of the here and now without resistance or judgment. By surrendering our attachment to the past and future, we align ourselves with the flow of life, finding peace and contentment in the present moment. Moreover, living in alignment with nature invites us to cultivate gratitude for the interconnectedness of all beings, recognizing that we are but small parts of a larger whole. By cultivating gratitude for the web of life that sustains us, we foster a sense of connection and belonging, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with compassion and grace. 
As we live in alignment with nature in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and finding peace amidst life's uncertainties. Through the practice of living in alignment with nature, we cultivate a deep sense of harmony, purpose, and fulfillment, allowing us to navigate the complexities of existence with courage, grace, and unwavering equanimity. Join me as we embrace the profound wisdom of Stoic philosophy, aligning ourselves with the natural order of the universe and embracing the fullness of life's possibilities with open-hearted acceptance and gratitude. Chapter 11 – Finding Serenity in the Present Moment In the hustle and bustle of modern life, where the demands of work, relationships, and responsibilities vie for our attention, lies a sanctuary of peace, the present moment. Rooted in the teachings of Stoic philosophy, the practice of finding serenity in the present moment invites us to anchor ourselves in the here and now, cultivating a deep sense of presence, clarity, and inner peace amidst life's chaos. The present moment is not merely a fleeting instant or a stepping stone to the future, but a sacred space where life unfolds in all its richness and beauty. It is the gateway to inner peace and transformation, offering us refuge from the worries of the past and the anxieties of the future. The Stoics understood the transformative power of the present moment, recognizing that it is through mindfulness and presence that we find true freedom and fulfillment. In the words of Seneca, you must live for another if you wish to live for yourself. With this wisdom as our guide, let us explore the profound practice of finding serenity in the present moment and its transformative impact on our ability to overcome negative thoughts. One practical strategy for finding serenity in the present moment is the practice of mindful awareness, which involves cultivating an attentive and non-judgmental awareness of our thoughts, emotions, and sensations as they arise in the present moment. By learning to observe our experience with curiosity and openness, we develop the capacity to respond to life's challenges with equanimity and grace. Another key aspect of finding serenity in the present moment is the practice of savoring the simple pleasures of life, which involves cultivating appreciation for the small joys and moments of beauty that abound in everyday life. By savoring the taste of food, the warmth of the sun, or the laughter of loved ones, we deepen our connection to the present moment and cultivate a sense of gratitude and wonder. Moreover, finding serenity in the present moment invites us to cultivate inner stillness and calm, which involves learning to quiet the chatter of the mind and rest in the peaceful silence that lies beneath the surface of our thoughts. By cultivating inner stillness, we find refuge from the storm of negativity and discover a profound sense of peace and contentment within ourselves. As we find serenity in the present moment in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and finding peace amidst life's uncertainties. Through the practice of mindful awareness, savoring, and inner stillness, we cultivate a deep sense of presence and clarity, allowing us to navigate the complexities of existence with courage, grace, and unwavering equanimity. Join me as we embrace the transformative power of the present moment, harnessing the wisdom of Stoic philosophy to find serenity and peace in the here and now. Chapter 12, The Path of Detachment, Letting Go of Attachments. In the journey of life, where the winds of change blow ceaselessly and the currents of fate carry us along, lies a profound lesson, the path of detachment. Rooted in the teachings of Stoic philosophy, the practice of detachment invites us to release our attachment to external outcomes and find freedom within ourselves, fostering a sense of inner peace, resilience, and equanimity amidst life's uncertainties. Detachment is not a form of indifference or apathy, but a courageous act of surrender, a willingness to let go of our attachment to things beyond our control and find solace in the present moment. It is the recognition that true fulfillment arises not from the attainment of external goals or possessions, but from the cultivation of inner virtues and values. The Stoics understood the transformative power of detachment, recognizing that our attachment to external outcomes often leads to suffering and dissatisfaction. In the words of Epictetus, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. 
With this wisdom as our guide, let us explore the profound practice of detachment and its transformative impact on our ability to overcome negative thoughts. One practical strategy for cultivating detachment is the practice of non-attachment to outcomes, which involves releasing our attachment to specific outcomes and finding fulfillment in the process itself. By focusing on our efforts rather than the results, we free ourselves from the tyranny of success and failure, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Another key aspect of detachment is the practice of letting go of material possessions, which involves releasing our attachment to material wealth and possessions and finding contentment in simplicity and frugality. By freeing ourselves from the burden of materialism, we cultivate a sense of inner freedom and abundance, allowing us to find joy in the present moment rather than in the accumulation of external goods. Moreover, detachment invites us to cultivate emotional detachment, which involves releasing our attachment to specific emotions and finding peace amidst the fluctuations of our inner landscape. By learning to observe our emotions with curiosity and compassion, rather than becoming entangled in their grip, we cultivate a sense of inner calm and resilience, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with courage and grace. As we cultivate detachment in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and finding peace amidst life's uncertainties. Through the practice of detachment, we cultivate inner peace, resilience, and equanimity, allowing us to navigate the complexities of existence with courage, grace, and unwavering acceptance. Join me as we embrace the transformative power of detachment, harnessing the wisdom of Stoic philosophy to find freedom and fulfillment in the here and now. Chapter 13, The Practice of Resilience, Embracing Adversity with Courage. In the tapestry of human experience, woven with threads of joy and sorrow, success and failure, lies a profound truth, adversity is an inevitable part of life. Rooted in the teachings of Stoic philosophy, the practice of resilience invites us to embrace adversity with courage, fortitude, and inner strength, fostering a sense of resilience and empowerment amidst life's trials and tribulations. Resilience is not merely a trait that some are born with and others lack, but a skill that can be cultivated and honed through practice and perseverance. It is the ability to adapt and bounce back from adversity, finding opportunity for growth and transformation even in the midst of life's darkest moments. The Stoics understood the transformative power of resilience, recognizing that it is through adversity that we discover our true strength and potential. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. With this wisdom as our guide, let us explore the profound practice of resilience and its transformative impact on our ability to overcome negative thoughts. One practical strategy for cultivating resilience is the practice of reframing adversity as opportunity, which involves shifting our perspective on challenges and setbacks, seeing them not as obstacles to be avoided, but as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. By reframing adversity as a catalyst for transformation, we cultivate resilience and strength, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with courage and grace. Another key aspect of resilience is the practice of embracing discomfort, which involves stepping outside of our comfort zones and confronting our fears and limitations head-on. By embracing discomfort, we cultivate a sense of inner resilience and empowerment, allowing us to build confidence and self-efficacy in the face of adversity. Moreover, resilience invites us to cultivate self-compassion and self-care, which involves nurturing ourselves with kindness and compassion, especially in moments of struggle and suffering. By practicing self-compassion and self-care, we replenish our inner resources and build resilience, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with grace and fortitude. As we cultivate resilience in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and finding peace amidst life's uncertainties. Through the practice of resilience, we cultivate inner strength, courage, and empowerment, allowing us to navigate the complexities of existence with grace, resilience, and unwavering determination. Join me as we embrace the transformative power of resilience, harnessing the wisdom of Stoic philosophy to face adversity with courage, grace, and unwavering resolve. 
Chapter 14, The Power of Intention, Cultivating Purpose and Direction. In the tapestry of human existence, where the threads of fate weave intricate patterns of experience, lies a potent force, the power of intention. Rooted in the teachings of Stoic philosophy, the practice of cultivating intention invites us to clarify our values, set meaningful goals, and align our actions with our highest aspirations, fostering a sense of purpose, direction, and fulfillment in our lives. Intention is not merely a fleeting whim or passing fancy, but a deliberate choice, a conscious commitment to live with clarity, integrity, and authenticity. It is the compass that guides us through the complexities of life, offering us direction amidst the uncertainties of the journey. The Stoics understood the transformative power of intention, recognizing that it is through conscious choice and action that we shape the course of our lives. In the words of Epictetus, first say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. With this wisdom as our guide, let us explore the profound practice of intention and its transformative impact on our ability to overcome negative thoughts. One practical strategy for cultivating intention is the practice of values clarification, which involves reflecting on our core values, priorities, and beliefs, and aligning our actions with these guiding principles. By clarifying our values, we cultivate a sense of purpose and direction, allowing us to navigate life's complexities with clarity and integrity. Another key aspect of intention is the practice of goal-setting, which involves setting specific, achievable goals that are aligned with our values and aspirations. By setting clear goals, we create a roadmap for success and empower ourselves to take meaningful action towards our dreams and aspirations. Moreover, intention invites us to cultivate mindful action, which involves bringing conscious awareness to our thoughts, words, and actions, and aligning them with our intentions and values. By practicing mindful action, we cultivate presence and integrity in our lives, allowing us to live with greater purpose and authenticity. As we cultivate intention in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and finding fulfillment amidst life's uncertainties. Through the practice of intention, we cultivate clarity, purpose, and direction, allowing us to navigate the complexities of existence with courage, grace, and unwavering resolve. Join me as we embrace the transformative power of intention, harnessing the wisdom of Stoic philosophy to live with purpose, passion, and authenticity. Chapter 15, The Practice of Renewal, Cultivating Resilience and Growth In the tapestry of life, where the threads of experience intertwine to form the fabric of our existence, lies a profound truth, the practice of renewal is essential for cultivating resilience, growth, and vitality. Rooted in the teachings of Stoic philosophy, the practice of renewal invites us to embrace change, learn from adversity, and emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient than before. Renewal is not merely a passive process of recovery or recuperation, but an active journey of self-discovery and transformation. It is the recognition that even in the midst of life's challenges and setbacks, there exists the potential for renewal and growth, a seed of possibility waiting to sprout amidst the fertile soil of adversity. The Stoics understood the transformative power of renewal, recognizing that it is through the process of facing and overcoming challenges that we discover our true strength and potential. In the words of Seneca, we are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. With this wisdom as our guide, let us explore the profound practice of renewal and its transformative impact on our ability to overcome negative thoughts. One practical strategy for cultivating renewal is the practice of self-reflection and introspection, which involves taking time to reflect on our experiences, insights, and lessons learned from adversity. By engaging in self-reflection, we gain clarity and perspective on our challenges, allowing us to extract wisdom and meaning from even the most difficult circumstances. Another key aspect of renewal is the practice of self-care and self-compassion, which involves nurturing ourselves with kindness, care, and compassion, especially in moments of struggle and suffering. 
By practicing self-care and self-compassion, we replenish our inner resources and build resilience, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with grace and fortitude. Moreover, renewal invites us to cultivate lifelong learning and growth, which involves embracing change and seeking out opportunities for personal and professional development. By embracing a growth mindset, we cultivate resilience and adaptability, allowing us to thrive amidst life's uncertainties and challenges. As we cultivate renewal in our own lives, we discover an invaluable tool for overcoming negativity and finding peace amidst life's uncertainties. Through the practice of renewal, we cultivate resilience, growth, and vitality, allowing us to navigate the complexities of existence with courage, grace, and unwavering determination. Join me as we embrace the transformative power of renewal, harnessing the wisdom of Stoic philosophy to embrace change, cultivate resilience, and thrive in the face of adversity. As we draw near the conclusion of our journey through the depths of Stoic wisdom, may we carry forth the lessons learned and the practices embraced into the tapestry of our daily lives. Let us remember that in the face of adversity, negativity, and uncertainty, we possess within us the resilience, strength, and wisdom to navigate life's challenges with grace and courage. With each passing chapter, we have delved deeper into the timeless teachings of Stoicism, uncovering invaluable tools and insights for overcoming negative thoughts and finding peace amidst the turbulence of existence. From the practice of mindfulness and acceptance to the cultivation of virtue and resilience, we have explored a rich tapestry of practices that offer guidance and solace on our journey towards inner peace and fulfillment. As we bid farewell to this episode, let us carry with us the spirit of Stoic philosophy, a spirit of resilience, integrity, and unwavering equanimity. Let us embrace each moment with mindfulness and gratitude, knowing that within us lies the power to transform adversity into opportunity, negativity into positivity, and darkness into light. May we continue to walk the path of Stoicism with courage, grace, and unwavering resolve, knowing that with each step, we draw closer to the profound peace and fulfillment that resides within us all. And may the wisdom of the Stoics serve as a guiding light, illuminating our path and inspiring us to live each day with purpose, passion, and authenticity. With gratitude for the journey we have shared, let us look forward to the next chapter with open hearts and minds, knowing that the wisdom of Stoicism will continue to illuminate our path and guide us towards a life of meaning, fulfillment, and inner peace. Until we meet again, may you walk the path of Stoicism with courage, grace, and unwavering resolve. Farewell, dear friend, and may the wisdom of the Stoics be with you always.